So we have a 47 kilogram kid traveling three meters per second west on a frictionless skateboard. He catches a five kilogram ball thrown to him at five meters per second to the east. We need to calculate the velocity of the kid and the ball after they collide. So since they're together after they collide, this is called a inelastic collision, which to simplify means basically momentum is conserved, but some energy is lost and the objects stick together. Now, just like any conservation of momentum problem, we're going to use the four steps in a way that's a little bit different because we have a before and after scenario. To start, we're going to make a data table and then we're going to use algebra to solve it. So first with our data table, uh, we need to find the momentum of the kid, the momentum of the ball and the total momentum. And for all of those, we need before the collision and after the collision. So to find the momentum, we have to remember that momentum is equal to mass times velocity. So for the kid, the mass is 47 kilograms. His velocity is three meters per second to the west. And so his total momentum will be 141 kilogram meters per second. For the ball, still using this equation, it's five kilograms, and this one is traveling to the east, so it's the opposite direction at five meters per second, which means the ball has a momentum of negative 25 kilogram meters per second. So the sum, the total momentum here, we take 141, we add it to a negative 25, so it's a subtraction, and we get 116 kilogram meters per second. So that's our before. So after, we know that the total momentum is going to be 116 kilogram meters per second. And so between the two, the kid and the ball together, they're going to have that momentum. So the kid will still be 47 kilograms times whatever velocity they're going. The ball will still be five kilograms times whatever velocity they're going. So now that we have our data table, we can use algebra to solve for the velocity. So we know that these together need to add up to 116 kilogram meters per second. So we can add 47 kilograms times the velocity of the kid plus five kilograms for the ball times the velocity that will equal 116 kilogram meters per second. So we can add these up and 47 plus five gives us 52 kilogram times the velocity is equal to 116 kilogram meters per second. We need to solve for V now. So we're going to take both sides and divide it by 52 kilograms. That'll cancel those out. Kilograms over here cancels out. And so velocity is equal to 116 divided by 52, 2.2, and we're left with meters per second. So in the end, the velocity of the kid and the ball after they collide together is 2.2 meters per second.